We're here with Vera Olnikova, and uh, she'll talk about her art a little bit. I'd love to hear. Oh, well, I know. Okay. My name's Vera. Uh, that's my real name. I have other names that I use for other things. Uh, these are some paintings that I've drawn uh, in the last uh, maybe month and a half was when I uh, actively started drawing uh, in the space in particular at Shape Off. Okay. Um, and yeah, so it's all it's all stuff that I made with my brain. So that's, that's okay. Exciting. Tell me about a picture or two. What uh, uh, what sure, inspired yeah. you to do a picture? Um, sure, I like this picture. Uh, this picture is called Icon. It's sort of my first uh, experiment in photorealistic drawing. Um, I obviously uh, for something like this, I would want to work with an image that is significant to me. Uh, this image, is, apart from being a significant image in general, is significant me as um, a self-portrait done by this artist named uh, Christina Nunes. She's a Spanish, Spanish um, self-portrait okay. artist and I took, I took a workshop with her. So this is done off of an image, sort of done off of an image um, of, of her. It was one of the first photographs that she took of herself, um, a self-portrait, and it was after I, I took a, a class with her on self-portraiture uh, that was amazing and inspiring and we were talking mm -hmm. about the idea of icons and about um, an image being iconic and that it is able to speak to a greater you know a greater experience okay your experience, where was experience. the where did, where's the class uh, it was in uh, it was in a studio on St. Catherine Street it was um, it was that big studio building I forget what it's yeah. called it's got a the Belgo place. building that's the ticket yeah mm -hmm. that's the ticket and it was just um Hearing her story and meeting her and touching her and holding her and her holding my forearms and telling me that I'm an artist and her telling me her story and me crying to it was okay. all a part of this painting and, and other than that I just think it's technically the strongest one that I've drawn. Okay. Uh, this would be, it's called, I guess, comedic timing. Um, comedic timing. Comedic timing. It's, uh, this one's interesting to me because everyone likes this one, even though it's, it's kind of a technical failure. Well, it's kind of by accident. You design by well, accident well, sometimes. I, I mean, it's, uh, it's also an image in a comic book that I was just attracted to. It was my first experiment in watercolor. I realized that what watercolor does is it bleeds. Mm -hmm, that's instead right. Instead of taking that out, I decided, obviously, to work with it. Yeah. Uh, the story behind that image is a little bit too personal, uh, but 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 um, so it doesn't have a background. Like there's some technical flaws right there, Van. But mm -hmm. everyone everyone really digs this image. This is the image that's mm -hmm. able to speak to the most people. So I think there's something to be said for that, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna over explain it. No, you can't always can't always tell what people react yeah, to. You yeah, know, exactly. you say it's an accident, but no, that really goes there. It works yeah, out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, this is called Cap. It's my experiment in uh, pop art, okay. uh, again taken off a magazine image that I was attracted to, it was a hot fashion image, Okay. and um, I guess they kind of wanted to show how bodies are cool and gross. Um, this is older, older painting when I was kind of wasting a lot of time and a lot of paint before I learned to edit myself, mm -hmm. it's called The Rooster. All right. Um, yeah, I yeah. see it. Uh, I like the red. Red is a good one. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's something I stole from someone that I thought was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we need some birds. That's uh, called Take Me With You. It, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of goes together. It started off with something else. I like I like this one sort of I like the story that's behind it and maybe mm -hmm. one of the first ones I did so I wasn't properly able to articulate the story but basically there's um, sort of a transformation thing going on mm -hmm. someone holding holding a hand over over some face yeah. that's sort of supposed to be part human and part animal and it's nighttime and and the moon's out and there's some sort of headphones things going on. There's a lot uh, of texture a lot of texture well, in the yeah, paint. There's, and Brushes, trying to do the hair, so I just I stuck some shit over top. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know if this is a, a fail or a win, but uh, but it's something I like. I like what it speaks to. It's mm -hmm. just sort of transitioning from 
um, one state to the other, from some sort of human to animal, and um, this this is like a big thing. I used to do a lot of this mm -hmm. uh, with a bandana, just sort of hold it over my face because it used to make me feel really really safe. So I wanted, I kind of wanted at first, I kind of wanted it to be violent, kind of was like a kidnapping, but it was like okay, okay, yeah, it's like trusting, trusting, going to that that next space. Mm -hmm. More, more art. I can't use that one because that's somebody. But um, yeah. So again, and like I, I started off, I guess, kind of wanting to. Uh, another thing to see when you guys talk about was the idea of like exploring your relationships with people that aren't there, which is which is interesting because I have all these like significant strangers in my life mm -hmm. and people that I can't always be with for various reasons but I can be with them you know in paintings but then I, I found out that it's like pretty invasive even to me personally to draw an image directly of someone so I will take another image that represents you know that person and that yeah. some greater concept so that was like a photo that I found in, in Vice magazine um, right. called Want vs. Need so I thought it was a cool image uh, it's been pointed at me that the character is sort of androgynous mm -hmm. and that she looks like me even okay. though I was supposed to be a guy and, and I kind of flukes out like that and you get you get cooler shit than what you intended to work with. Mm -hmm. Obviously, trying to explore shadow and and sailing. <laughs> oh no! Well, oh, you know, yeah, right? it just does its job, you know. Yeah, this is my little like change sign. I did it when I was feeling really, really sad, uh, mm -hmm. and it was uh, it's an image. She's a uh, a girl is supposed to be a stripper, I guess. Okay. And um, uh, sometimes they get angry at strippers and sex workers for mm -hmm. making so much more money than me. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll read you what it says. Please, please, please. Uh, this is kind of like me being really melodramatic. It's perfect. So, so the text is, if I had any choice in the matter, I would choose to be her. I would choose to be anything except an artist. Sir, there is no honor in bumming change and eating from dumpsters and living off of scraps and hand is sharing space with crackheads and prostitutes combing the gutter and song bits for some small proof um, some small sign or proof that my life is something more than just an absurd waste of time um, so thank you and then there's a uh, there's a little anecdote just a significant moment uh, it, I, I was living in a shelter with like sex workers and mm -hmm. people and I, I asked uh, so, well, the anecdote is I asked my, my roommate what the most she ever made in a night was and I cried because it was more than I've ever made in a month. And mm -hmm. that was nine hundred and thirty six dollars. All right. So uh, I guess what that speaks to is just like um <laughs> the pains of being sure at heart. Uh, okay. was just you know, just uh, my frustration of being told that my work is invaluable and my time is invaluable and mm -hmm. what I'm doing what I'm doing is a huge waste of time and mm -hmm. I guess sort of just try to validate that in whatever art form uh, I come into contact with and get sort Have of people told that. you that? I've been Cheer. told that the last four years. Oh least. yeah? I, I mean I I've been living I've been making a living off of uh, not not like paintings, but off of mm -hmm. art and off of yeah. writing and off of uh, I, I haven't had a day job in four years, so I've supported myself or not or not mm -hmm. supported myself accordingly and I think that that's that's something to take pride in, but it's also it's you know, there's a lot of hurt pride involved when you work really, 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 really hard at something that's not it's not validated materialistically and it's not validated societally. Yeah, for sure, man. My my um my parents have told me all the time that all I'm good at is pretty pretty words and fucking guess what? I've been making a living off of pretty words for four years. Fucking eight. And um and yeah, again it's I was gonna give it to someone I didn't give it to them. Mm -hmm. uh, 
anytime I hear that sort of struggle validated in, in whatever way, where it be of my personal struggle or or the greater the greater sort of struggle, that like no, that like there is there is value in that. There is value in doing the work that I've done and doing the work that my friends have done, like our lives are not meaningless. Like that's a huge that's a huge moment of validation because uh, so many people have Right. Say that otherwise. Right. Oh. Thank you so much. I really, really yeah. appreciate okay. it. Okay. Are we okay? And like, what's way cooler than any of this shit is the fact that this place exists. The fact that um, this has like been like art school for me. You know, it's, uh, I've never. I don't have any formal artistic training. Um, the fact that there's a space where I can come to and use supplies for free and and also get some sort of instruction, um, not just in technical things, but just the overall goodness that is shape ops, that is a non judgmental environment where one can be themselves and it's okay. Anything, anything is okay. And what what you are is okay was something that hugely inspired me, you know, to do something that I've always been pretty insecure about. Like I've been pretty I have a lot of friends that are artists and draw much more pretty than me. Uh, and just just being like, Okay, well, like let's let's check somewhere, let's try this and you know, now I get to I get to do this and even if I don't sell dancing it's still pretty cool, right? It is. Okay. So thank you, Shape Hop. Cheers, cheers, cheers.